before it's too late. Well, the whale sharks here in the Philippines are quite threatened because of a fishery and a market that's, that's out there for the whale sharks. A.A. Yuptanchai is a project officer with the Worldwide Fund for Nature. He is looking at ways of helping local fishermen resist the temptation of the big bucks that can be made from the black market. I know WWF has been involved in conservation of uh, fishery stocks and uh, sharks in general, but uh, focusing on the whale shark, this is the only one that they're implementing. And he has found an alternative livelihood for the fishermen. The WWF has organized them into a collective which has embraced ecotourism. A cooperative of the town's fishermen who take it in turns to take the tourists out to swim with the whale sharks. These are the eco-tourists who bring life to the whale shark and the Philippine villages. They bring environmentally friendly dollars. And old timers are happy to tell the tourists about the times when whale sharks were even more numerous than they are today. He says while he was earning a living fishing, there was a time when he encountered an accident with the whale sharks. He went out fishing. He fished all night. It was early morning when his boat hit a whale shark and the propeller came off. Suddenly, they were surrounded by lots and lots of whale sharks. They were fighting with the boat. They were thrashing around with their tails and they were smashing into the boat. He ended up in the water. There were some floating pieces of the boat and he grabbed onto these to stay afloat. He was very scared. He was floating out to sea, holding onto a piece of wood. Other fishermen came out to rescue him. When he was picked up, the whale sharks were everywhere. He was very afraid because he thought he had been eaten by the sharks. But the whale sharks didn't harm him. He says they were just there. Today, instead of hunting whale sharks, this old sea dog has been taught a new trick. He is part of the new generation of hunters who hunt with cameras and with tourists. Another underestimated nation which also deserves recognition for its environmentally friendly policies lies half a world away in the Indian Ocean. The archipelago that is the Seychelles. Here at certain times of the year, these waters, like the Philippines, have scores of whale sharks. In these warm tropical waters, a dozen or more whale sharks have been known to hang out and interact with one another. But like everywhere else, the whale shark numbers in the Seychelles seem to be on the decline. Whale sharks are very much still an enigma. Uh, how far is the shark David Rowett is a whale shark dive tour operator. He is also a conservationist 
working closely with the Seychelles government on ways to protect the whale shark. The Endangered Species IUCN Red Data Book lists the whale shark as data deficient. And that says that we don't know enough about this animal to say whether there's a lot of them or not a lot of them and whether it's threatened or endangered or not. And so with that I try to find out a little bit more. And as far as David is concerned, until those questions are answered, the whale shark should be protected. And like the Philippines, this tiny nation of the Seychelles, with its less than one million people, is likely to declare the whale shark just that, protected.